Welcome to Crowded Lab and great news everyone. Active Pieces is back on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. I reviewed this software about 9 months ago, so today I will do an updated review and you can see the original one in the description. So for the most part original one is still valid and in this video I will try to see what was changed and updated in this tool during this time. Well, first of all, what is Active Pieces? It is your alternative to tools like Zapier or Make. For example, for Zapier, if you want something more than 100 tasks per month, you will need to pay close to $20. Here we can see price in euros. And for such automation tools, I like to have a lifetime deal. For Active Pieces, I have bought licensed tier tools for myself. I use these tools occasionally, so I don't want to pay monthly here. Let's briefly take a look at some of the advantages of this tool. What I liked previously and what is here to stay, pre-built templates to build your automated flows. For example, translate Slack messages with ChatGPT. You can just try a template. And here it is, your pre-built templates. Of course, you will need to connect your Slack account, put your ChatGPT API key. But anyway, you have the idea. You have a lot of pre-built templates. What else do we have here? Here is a great summary about versatility of this tool. Well, first of all, of course, you have your builder where you can choose different steps. There are a lot of different connections to choose from. You can have conditions in your logic so your automations can be more powerful and not linear. Based on the data on previous steps, you can select future steps. You can iterate over data with loops. Of course, you can use different languages and this feature, code with AI, is pretty interesting one. You can just ask something, like convert names to all capital letters, and you get the code that you can use in your automations. Another great part which contributes to versatility of this tool, these three built-in blocks, webhooks, so basically, you can connect to virtually anything with webhooks and HTTP requests to different services which provide integration through HTTP and webhooks. And if you're a developer or would like to hire a developer to extend the functionality of Active Pieces, you can write the code in JavaScript and accomplish virtually anything with this tool. Also, you have auto retry features, you have versions of your automations, there is wide labeling feature, custom templates, as I mentioned before. Let's move to the integrations. Basically, what is available for you? I'm looking at my video from nine months ago and I see there were available close to 100 so-called pieces. And now I see this number doubled. Well, honestly, I think I was expecting this number to grow quicker. But anyway, we have a lot of base integrations needed. For example, let's check artificial intelligence. And here it is. You have connections with OpenAPI, AI Table, Strico 11 Labs, Anthropic Cloud. I see Google integration, Stability AI. Retune and Strico are the tools from the AppSumo. With Open Router, you can connect to virtually any large language model. You even have a connection with FRI, another great tool from AppSumo. You can search by the name or just by the category. For example, in the communication, you have integration with the most popular tools that you need. And what I also like about this tool is that they provide great documentation. Just as an example, you can pick a particular template and for that template, you can find the detailed instructions 
how to use those. What else do we have here? I have found their roadmap on a GitHub, so you can get some ideas of what's coming next, but I'm not sure how accurate the status is. For example, I can see QuickBooks was updated several months ago. Let's quickly try to find that. Just paste in here. Yep, QuickBooks is still under development. And I found another page with feature requests. You can see it here. And this page, I believe, updated more regularly. We can see the community can vote here. And another great thing about this tool is it has active community. We can see people vote for different features. And we can see the last activity here was about 10 hours ago. And as an example, let's see a combo mail. We can see people voted for this feature. We can see the thread with updates. And if we try to find a Kumba mail here, here it is. Two months ago, it was added. And if for some reason you would need some very specific functionality, you have so-called code blocks where you can do virtually anything. You can hire a developer or if you know how to code, you can develop a new integration piece yourself because Active Pieces provides a framework for the extension. As I mentioned before, I have tier two with Active Pieces myself. Regarding the functionality, the tool didn't change much. I think they improved the stability, provided few fixes here and there, but the main flow is still there. You can create your automations from scratch or using a template. There are a lot of pre-built templates for different categories. For example, if we take a look at this one, sentiment analysis of Zendesk ticket, someone submits a support ticket with a request and ChatGPT will be analyzing what is actually the ask of that ticket and then providing the details of the analysis into the Google Sheet. And you can build from scratch, you can add new pieces, for example, we can ask Anthropic Cloud for some information. You can build anything you like with this visual builder. And I like a lot how simple and easy it is to build the flows here. Well, that was my updated review of Active Pieces. I still think it is a great tool if you don't want to pay monthly for such automation tools. It provides base integrations needed. I believe you will find everything that you need. A bit of a downside, I think the number of pieces or integrations need to increase. However, Active Pieces provides versatile blocks like webhooks, HTTP and code. And if you don't have immediately something that you need, you can extend functionality with these three blocks. So again, great tool. And yeah, I think it is still worth grabbing as a lifetime option. Please check the link to active pieces in the description. Please also give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.